Hey everybody, I did like to welcome to Fresh and Soft Normal. Today I want to discuss Archangels and Guardian Angels because they do run correspondingly. Yeah. Um, as we all know, a guardian angel is a person that is, or an angel that is assigned to us when we are born that protects us. Um, as you can see on the screen, it's the type of angel that is assigned to protect or guide a particular person of information. Um, basically, it's been here since the fifth century. Um, I will suck at spelling these names or saying these names, but. Uh, his swaddle. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Um, he was a Greek author, Christian theology, and Neoplatonic philosopher of the late fifth or the sixth century, who wrote a set of works known as the Corpus Ario yeah, he wrote a bunch of good books. Anyways, he's the one that really developed the idea of a guardian angel. Um, a guardian angel is somebody that is really there to like protect you from, I guess, things being like, Um, bad things happen to you, so they're to protect you from bad things. So the signs, they're also there to be a comfort to you. Um, I know when I'm going through a lot of really bad things, or I'm really struggling, I will call upon the arch, uh, my guardian angel, who I know who my guardian angel is, and I'll get into I'll do that in a second. Um, and I just feel comfort knowing that he's there. Um, you can call upon your angel just to, or your guardian angel just to be like, man, I really just wanted to say, hey, thank you for protecting me all of the time that I've been an idiot, or hey, thank you for, you know, Thank you. Uh, you can be like, hey, um, insert guardian angel name. I'm going through a low time and I would really appreciate a little bit of comfort. And you'll feel it. You'll feel like the tingles in the body system and all of that. You'll really feel it. Um, Judaism has guardian angels. Cast Christianity has Roman Catholic, New Testament, um, saints and their angels, angelic connections, Eastern Orthodox Church, Lutheran Church, Methodist Church, Reformed and Presbyterian Churches, Islam, <sighs> all these different religions have a do believe in guardian angels in the certain point in time and way. Now, I do want to say that I have officially figured out how to find out about your guardian angel's name, and that's through like meditation, really centering, sitting down, centering yourself, and focusing, and as you're focusing on your guardian angel, a name will pop into your head. Um, there is other ways that you can find your guardian angel. Some of those ways are by like bear box session, dowsing rods, um, but when you hear a name over the spirit box, like 
I asked who's protecting me because I asked Archangel Michael to protect me one day. And four names came out of that spare box. And one of them was Michael. Archangel Michael was protecting me. Then and we're now, we're now, um, they were protecting me. Um, and I can't remember the other name, but it was a female that was protecting me. So those are the four names that came over the spirit box saying they protected me. And then we did a lot of research and to find out who Ben was and Renault was and to find out if they were truly my spirit guides. Okay, um, some of the angel numbers which you're going to see when you start calling upon your archangel and your, uh, not your archangel, but guardian angel and, um, I guess archangel Michael. When you're calling upon them, you're going to see a bunch of different numbers that will come up. Um, zero, zero, zero is the sort of with new opportunities, one, 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 a, a powerful manifestation a figure if you ever encounter one as an angel number, relish the opportunity to make a wish and set intentions and plant or plant the seed as this is believed to indicate a green light from the universe. So basically, if you're like sitting there and you're chilling and all of a sudden you see 111 on your, or 1111 on your um, clock, make a wish. Make a wish for something that you want to happen. Uh, 222 suggests balance and trust and align, like an alignment. Experience to in this sequence um, could mean that someone either in the physical realm or in the spiritual realm is helping you get where you need to go um 333 indicates a uh, magnetic creativity noticing three as an angel number could mean that you have the opportunity to add your unique talents and abilities to a situation moreover the presence of three indicates that by your leading, leaning into your initiative gift, you'll find more value and abundance in whatever circumstances you, make, you are navigating. Four 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 symbolizes observe, um, stab stabilization. Four 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 and an angel number suggests that you are in the process of grounding, rooting, and cultivating an infrastructure that's truly built to last. Basically, you're not building a wobbly tower; you're building a sturdy tower. Five five five. The presence of five 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 suggests that major changes could be on the horizon. Um, for the people that are feeling sick, stifled, and or inspired and observing five as an angel number reveals that massive shifts might be in the work. For now, these transformations may be occurring behind the scene. In other words, key decision makers will play still weighing options or still weighing options. Yeah. Try to make sure that you make like your cousins very well known. Um, six six six. Although so, so a lot of people fear six as like, oh, it's the devil worshiping number. If you're seeing it in like an angelic way, it means that um, It's a reminder to treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Sure, things may not always go according to plan, but <laughs> you know that you can choose how you want to interpret the situation. So you're not really stuck. It's in here. 
777 is a lucky angel number. It represents finances. Um, short term gigs may become lucrative, consistent income. So, integrity, your spirituality with your values. Uh, 888 is one of the most divine numbers in numerology. As is 8 as an angel number to reflect a connection to the spiritual universe in a powerful way. Um, you might be getting a new gift. Don't be the book. Afraid to dive into your intuitions when this angel number appears. 999 is the final digit in the numerology. It suggests that the chapter may be coming to an end. Um, it's a sign that a meaningful cycle could be coming to a close or you'll soon be getting a brand new journey. Um, so 999, once again, is a good thing. So now we have the Archangels, which lots of different uh, lots of different religions have the Archangels. Um, they're basically a in between your guardian angel and God. Um, I'm doing the seven major archangels. Of course, starting with Archangel Michael, my homie. <laughs> I call upon him a lot, especially when I'm doing spare box sessions, dowsing rods, or anything that opens a portal to the other side. I call upon Archangel Michael, who, again, he's very well known as the protector and most powerful of the archangels. You can call on them for protection, it, even if you're scared or concerned for your safety. I call upon them a lot at night, too. Archangel is often dictated to hold it a golden sword. So, you know, we like Archangel Michael. Angel Raphael is great for physical healing. Whenever you have a health concern, you can call upon him to bring his shiny green emerald light. Um, and have him help with whatever you are feeling, like chest issues or muscle soreness throughout the body, fibromyalgia, anything like those lines, you can call upon him. You may not feel 100% better, but you will feel some relief. Um, Gabriel uh, is a messenger from the gods of communication. He is great with, you know, helping artists, writers, and teachers share, share their message with clarity and me. Um, you don't have to be a professional communicator to call upon them if you're having trouble speaking up or putting something into words. Gabrielle will help you find the right way to say it. So, again, anybody who is in the supernatural, paranormal field, when we do the um, spiritual writing, where we put the headset on, we Put it, in, it into the um, SBS 7. We can, and we're writing. We can ask our angel to Gabriel to come help us make sure that we get our words through. Always make sure you call upon your archangels while you're doing anything. Um, Ariel is the environment of the nature or planet. Um, when you're out and about, you can ask Ariel for like the protection of the environment if you have a success. Um, 
or you know a little extra mm, i need support during this uh pet uh visit you can call upon ariel and she will help she does work with animals just feel um which whose name literally means beauty of god is the archangel who supports artistry she is the archangel of creativity wisdom and fresh ideas so you know people who like to write books uh do painting um anything creative wise she is a great one to call upon. She will help you gain new perspective. She will help you stay on focus. Again, our girl, Jephiel, Archangel Azrael, to help people when they're dying and assist newly crossed over souls adjust to the spirit realm, but they also help with your grief. Um, if you're like at a point in your life where you're transitioning to something new, um, you can call upon Azrael to help guide you to that new thing, like the new chapter in your life. Um, let's say you're moving from one relationship to being single or being single to a new relationship. Call upon Azrael to help you help guide you through these changes in your life. It doesn't just have to be about that, you know, um, their time coming and, and then moving on in the spiritual world. It has a lot to deal with, like, hey, this is your, I guess it's kind of like your one-on-one -on -one with this with them, but, you know, like, if you're feeling in a rut, call upon Israel to get out of the rut. Uh, cameo. Cameo? Somebody, comment down below and tell me what this word means. Cameo, uh, or how to pronounce this name. Mission is to help bring peace into the world. You can call upon him. When you're suffering from anxiety, struggling in a relationship, or having a hard time figuring, forgiving someone. Um, he helps us deal with difficult times and gives us courage when you feel defeated and alone. I actually know a couple people who could use him right now. <laughs> um he is our angel to call on if you're working through problems in a marriage feeling after a breakup or want to bring peace to any type of relationship Camille's presence is very important on a societal scale too if you want to heal a division or separation within the community Find time and ground or restore oneness, call upon them. Um, your guardian angel, we're back to that. That's why I say the archangels and your guardian angel work hand in hand to make sure you stay on the right path. Um, basically devoted to our spiritual growth, their mission is to serve, guide, and protect you while helping you along in your spiritual path whereas archangels work with everyone your guardian angel works exclusively with you which i have said before that nobody can have the same archangel or guardian angel angel so um while they're always available to you, they won't interfere with your life without your free will or consent. Um, they're always on call. Anytime you're struggling, you can call on your guardian angel for help. Um, they're a protector. Uh, they do absorb our emotions in difficult times and more life. Well, moments of life and one feeling immense grief or despair, we can get that the sense of a presence 
Slither. Um, how to protect your guardian angel. You can call on your guardian angel with a simple prayer. Your sincere desire to connect is all that is required. For example, you can say, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me through this scary solution. I welcome to protect your protection and guidance. Um, that's how you call, call upon, like, Archangel Michael or even your uh, guardian angel. Um, you do gotta find out the name first, which once again you gotta meditate on it. Really focus on finding out the name. Uh, um, yeah, meditate, meet your guardian angel. So. Guys, I hope that you guys really like this. Um, if you could comment your beliefs on the archangels and your spirit guide, and let me know what you really think. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Love you all. Bye.